RV Unplugged is brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest RV technical career college, Alliance RV, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, Grand Design Recreational Vehicles, and the Jayco family of companies. Two weeks ago, eight teens blindly accepted a challenge they knew nothing about. Embarking on a journey from all corners of the country for a shot at $10,000 and the title of Season 1 RV Unplugged Champion. From the start, they were faced with challenges that pushed them to their limits, from impossible to read maps to switching teams. They knew this was going to be a long two weeks. Throughout the competition, they were given opportunities to earn beard bucks by taking on tasks like ziplining and diving. But they kept true to the RV community by not using their earnings and buying individual immunities. The red team came together to create a fire in less than a minute, forcing the blue team to vote off their first member. We had to say goodbye to Mike and Susan, but the blue team stuck together and won the water challenge thanks to the help of the Changing Lanes buoy. In the spirit of RVing, experienced RVers coached inexperienced RVers on connecting a complete solar battery system. And again, the blue team prevailed, but the red team was able to use their park pass to force the blue team to vote off. Ryan drew the short straw. With the blue team dwindling down, a twist was added. Everyone escaped Black Tank Island back in the game. However, little did the contestants know, it had to become an individual game at that point. Their performance on stage was unable to help Chris and Katrina and Mike and Susan, and we had to say goodbye for good. Double eliminations followed in each episode, starting with paintball. Ryan was a team player, gave up the flag to Howard, and ended up taking him out of the game for good. Charity and Ben gave it their all, but Aaron came in with a better time on the track. The final four teams then had to choose who they wanted to help them in the semifinals in an escape room, only to have to face that team in the finals. Choose too good of a team, and the decision could help them today, but come back to bite them in the morning. Well, as soon as we found out we were gonna be the ones to pick first, it was just my gut instinct. I was like, Chris and Aaron, like, because we had a task at hand first, it's like we had to complete that to even get to the finale. And so I, I felt that we would work the best with them from a communication standpoint. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, tomorrow's tomorrow, we'll worry about that then, but let's get through this task. And this is the couple that I feel like we would be able to win with. But I think we were the team to beat. We've performed very well in the competition up to this point. And I think they were just, trying to figure out, you know, who's the best strategy move for them to compete against if they make it to the finale. We were excited, I think, at definitely at first. We we thought it was gonna be an advantage. We still, you know, like it was all kind of coming at you pretty quickly. Those raffles, we're learning what they are, you know, uh, we were excited. Yeah, when they picked us, I was really excited because if it were flipped around and we were chosen, I would have wanted to pick them. Same outcome, different decision making for my part, because I was thinking about the fact that Aaron instantly recalled the lizard. And so that meant that he was really good with recall and also that I witnessed the amount both of them had done as far as like puzzles and challenges. So I was like, this is perfect because um, this is ultimately going to be whether we go home or not is if we win right now. Yeah, and I'm sure they went back and forth too a couple of times and it's like, you know, it's coming down to the wire. So it was like they had to they had to make a decision. So right. and I was I was yeah. surprised by it to be honest cuz I knew I knew going in uh, once we hit the escape room that Martha and Chris everyone knew that they had had done it before right, where Chris experience. and Aaron yeah. had never done it before. So when it was the opposite way it was just like, I was I was just hoping they would call our names and they did and I was just like, yes. <laughs> What's kind of interesting, the, the whole kind of uh, two weeks we've been here is we started out maybe one day together as a, as a big group and you got a little bit of like, you know, intermingling mm -hmm. and then we immediately got separated into red versus blue. Mm -hmm. And although we did co-mingle a little bit, it was still, mm -hmm. you know, we had two different camps. Like mm -hmm. it's just the physical amount of time. Yeah. Mentally thinking, you know, I know, 
it's it's also an elimination. They may not have made it to the next round had they picked right. a different individual. So I'm not thinking they're thinking ahead of who they're going to beat. I don't know if it's, it was collectively thinking, okay, maybe they'll work better with that those individuals. But right. it kind of threw me for a loop. I'm thinking, why didn't they pick Chris and Martha? Because I know you guys yeah. have experience in escape rooms versus and maybe, Chris and Aaron. And maybe Howard just like, he has experience. Like Howard right. Has experience. Yeah. He doesn't need experience. Howard's going to bring yeah. experience. I felt like the alternative was an unknown. I didn't know with Chris and Martha. I just wasn't sure if how we w we've never worked together. Um, I witnessed good and bad from like stress standpoint and the way that they manage and handle stress. And this is a high stress situation where you're in a small room and you just need to focus, you need to have clarity, not necessarily, it's not about strength and just pushing through. The final four. Welcome everyone. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Did you guys have a good night's sleep? <laughs> so to recap, yesterday what we did is we went out to uh, an escape room, threw a little twist in there by making you choose not only your partner for this game or for that game, but also your opponent should you have completed the task in the fastest time. Now what took place yesterday is I hid the clocks. I also extended the time so that way you could not fail. Two rooms is what you had, and we took away three clues, giving you only one. And should you use any other clues, we would have to tack on some time. I also know that when you're inside, you don't have the clock in there, you lose track, all track of time. Both teams kind of stayed in that first room for quite a while. This is a lot of stress, right? It's been now day nine, and your mental acuity, everything else, you have to be sharp, and you're tired, everything else. And so even something as simple, you know, as a, an escape room uh, for four individuals proves quite challenging. The great thing I saw in there is, you know, both teams, you tried hard and you didn't blow up on one another. I mean, it was difficult and there, there probably could have been instances where ordinarily <laughs> you might have lost your stuff, but uh, you guys held it together and that, that's what was really awesome. Now, you guys walked out a little more somber. You guys walked out super excited. No reflection on time because, of course, time you can't even see the time, okay? Why did you guys walk out a little more somber? Well, I, I think it's because we, we felt we were in there a little longer than we wanted to be. And so you can use your your vibe, you can use your judgment. And, yes, yeah. and, and when you're going first, I think that kind of plays into it. So even if you're you're outside, you know there's a team in there, you know they're going, they're going, they're going, whether you're mentally trying to keep track of time to say, well, they're in there for quite a quite a while. And of course, we, we also had to use that challenge for a uh, penalty, you know, whatever that was, the, the clues. Yeah. So it felt like as we came out, we nailed it, but it all came down to when you're first, you're first, like, oh my gosh, okay, we're in the long, how is the second team gonna do? And so we, that may be the same on the second team is because they're set, they went second, they may have been able to mentally say, well, we're, we gotta go, because they came out, you know, I, you know, I don't X know, amount of time. X amount of time. Yeah, so your, your, your mind, a sense of how long we took, and maybe that's yeah. where we came Just from. Just to hope, because it's the only time you have, you know, you, you don't have their time to even try and think about. You're just like, did we give them too much time? Okay. You guys come out a little bit more excited. Did you, did you think you did a, a better time? I think or? it was because the second room and the, like the last four clues were just like bang bang last bang one. bang and we were just on this high the energy of like was so high. solving it yeah. and it was immediate there was like no fumbling on the last part of it <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know it was like the last burst to get you know across the finish line it was almost like beautifully orchestrated the way we went into the second room and it all just kind of flowed and yeah. it was oh, just yeah, like oh yeah we were in a flow yeah and then it just yeah. happened and so I think, yeah, it was just that that high from going yeah. through that. We we actually didn't realize, I, I mean, at least I didn't realize that the last code was in fact the last code. Yeah. And so there was kind of this period of time where we're like, what other locks what are other there? What other locks are there? And we're like, like, we're Chris, done. Yeah. yeah, Chris was like, the door? It was like, five seconds. <laughs> what do we do? Right. The door. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, seeing it from where we saw, it was kind of funny. He goes, oh yeah, there's only one lock in the room. And we're like, how do you know that? <laughs> how do you look around? Now, first team, Tanya, Dave, Chris, and Martha. You guys completed room one in less than an hour. Chris, Aaron, Howard, Caitlin. You guys 
finished room one a little over an hour. You guys got to room two faster. You guys finished room two faster. Okay, so now it all breaks down to what was the time. Chris, Martha, Tanya, Dave, your, your complete time was an hour and 35 minutes. Howard, Caitlin, Aaron, Chris, your time, an hour, nine minutes. You guys will be moving forward. You guys, wonderful gameplay. We'll give you a few moments to congratulate one another. Tanya, Dave, Chris and Martha, I'm gonna ask you guys to pack up and go ahead and move. Howard, Caitlin, Chris and Aaron, be ready any moment we go into the finals. All right, let's move. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you guys. That's so Man. awesome. Y'all have played so well. Great job, great job. Thank you. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. For me, I'm actually kind of relieved. I really wanted to win, but man, this has been a stressful event. I mean, I oh, think yeah. there's a lot of pride making top four. Yeah. There was 10 opportunities, even though there was eight teams because the vote out and vote in. We mm -hmm. made the top four out of 10 opportunities. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. I'm into this as Team Blue. We had a lot of stresses from the beginning. We were underdogs for quite a bit, voting off, less challenges where yeah, we had to swim and on. do multiple, I never swam so much like that in my life. The final two, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna be they're excellent. Gonna be, and yeah, they played, they yeah. Howard they played it. the game like a true professional mm -hmm. and yeah, he right. controlled his fate very, very well. I'm very proud of my husband. I'm very proud of the fact that we were able to uh, come together and still be top four. I'm really excited that we got to work with Chris and Martha. Um, they have a strong competitive nature and I love that because you need that. That's that's the drive you need to give each other the push to get across the finish line. And even though we didn't, I felt like we made really good friends and it's a great connection. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just, you know, happy I could take a shower. And yeah. Chris and Aaron are just fierce competitors. So the yeah. final two are exactly, you know, if it wasn't gonna be us, it might as well be them because they're great. Early on in the competition, we were asked who we thought would be our toughest challenge, and we said you guys. We picked these two and guys. And when up. we were asked, we, we said, said the them. same thing. Oh, that's so awesome! Exactly but it was you guys are. They didn't yeah. word it as nicely as you guys did. <laughs> I know. No, I'm just kidding. Well, just probably because I'm like, well, they're super smart. They're really energetic. They're really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I don't know what you guys said about us. We're like, they're really. I'm sure fit. it was the same. We said they're. Yeah. We said they're really fit. If yeah. it's a physical challenge in the final, we're done. We're I can't wait to watch Thank and you. see what. But the uh, masterminds put them behind because it's going to be yeah. popcorn. It's going to be like popcorn right. in a drama show. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Exactly. Well, I think the finale is going to, is well matched. I think you guys are going to be pretty close. So I think yeah. it's going to be a tough finale. So <laughs> I, I think which I a, like. I like a tight race. I don't want to blow out. So yeah. this is going to be a gonna tight be, race. I think it's going to be a photo wait. finish. Mm. I had a lot of fun with everyone here. It's with Dave and Tanya and Chris in the room. I mean, I felt like we truly bonded. I mean, we yeah. have plans to meet up further down the road. We're gonna go see them in Vegas and we're gonna Woo! turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. It's yeah. just, but it was like mentally exhausting. All right, so I'm really dying to know how your team decided who they were gonna pick for the escape room. Well, they went with the slower, methodical, analytical type thinker. And they just really noticed that Chris and Aaron you know, they, they, they're they analyzing everything. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I think we can go with that. And Caitlin, I mean, automatically she said, my gut says Chris and Aaron. Yeah. And you know, they went back and forth. And the only thing that I told them was, you have to guarantee today. So you're picking right. for today, because if you don't, then tomorrow's nothing. You're gonna worry about tomorrow, right. get it out of your mind, go with today so you can get there. And they, they Don't did. pick the finale. Right. Pick they did it, that. what's gonna get you to the finale. Right, knowing that if they did, win and get out that would be their competition in the final right but i am so excited that they picked them because they really are a great pairing they like so are. whatever the finale is they they are very similar they're both really smart they're both very thoughtful in what they do and right. i think 
them winning the escape room and them going to the finale, it's going to be a great finale. They're going to be so evenly matched. Yeah, and I think it's going to come. I think it's going to be a photo finish. I mean, they're they're very competitive, but they think for strategies, yeah. they think they completely like, different. Oh, you no, think they, they think, think different? They, they think different. I just think they think slow and methodical. Well, that they do, but for strategy wise. You know, Team Blue was always Team Team Team, where Red Team was Annihilate Team Blue. It's going to be fun. I, I'm really glad that that they picked them. It was weird though to have to be cheering for Blue Team and Red Team in the same room. Yeah. It was totally a different thought process. Where really, either team could have won the escape room, and we would have been fine with it because right, both right. of us would be continuing going on to the finale. So it was oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It was, and it was really cool to watch them work through the process in the escape room. Well, and that was the first time that they had to work together. Yeah, in yeah. any challenge, they were always competing against red or blue. This time, I mean, that had to play a Quickly, little bit on their mind. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. now, I mean, they're in that room together, working together, and now they have to separate themselves again and be opponents. <laughs> right. We're high-fiving today, tomorrow. We're the enemy. <laughs> we're scowling. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be All a good right. finale. Who's taking it? What's your prediction? I still like blue team's chances. Oh, um, I'm, we're I, totally winning it. I think, as I've said this whole game. Well, and right so. It's going to so. be tight, though. It's going to yeah. be tight. Uh, yeah, I just, I like our chances. They, um, they, they have good strategy. They've always had good gameplay. And I think, you know, they, they work well together, which is a key. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think it's going to be tight. Morad takes pride in going the extra mile, from working with our OEM partners to develop and design unique solutions, to offering high-quality aftermarket parts and exceptional service. We believe in going above and beyond for all of our customers. For nearly 60 years, Morad has been producing high-quality parts for the RV industry. Each product is engineered with one goal to help our customers enjoy their camping experience more. From our revolutionary step above steps and accessories to our industry leading suspension systems, safety and comfort are top of mind. Go to moreride.com. That's M-O-R-R-Y-D-E.com. Tired of sleeping on that stock RV mattress that has no place in your RV? Upgrade to a comfortable RV mattress from rvmattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. With a wide range of sizes and styles, you'll find the perfect mattress for your RV at an affordable price. Our mattresses are made with premium materials to ensure a good night's sleep. Plus, enjoy fast and free shipping on all orders. Use discount code RVUNPLUGGED to save 25% on your next RV mattress purchase. Say goodbye to restless nights and hello to sweet dreams with RVMattress.com. You know that every single RV out there has three different types of electricity. Am I worried if I got a shut off valve right here? As larger people, we are very efficient converting food into calories. This is why we have extra stores because we are efficient. And when we increase our amps, we increase the flow, we increase the heat. United by a drive to make more memorable experiences. Jayco, Integra Coach, Highland Ridge RV, and Starcraft RV are your partners in this adventure. From smaller trailers that are easy to tow all the way to the most luxurious motor coaches on the road, Jayco RV allows you to go a little further, stay a little while longer, or just play it by ear. Caitlin, Aaron, and Chris, welcome to the Gauntlet. Let's go check it out. Now on day one, we actually had to put together a water distribution system. I hope you remembered how to put this together. We've got all the parts out, we're gonna make it just a little bit easier. Your goal on this is to fill it up. You do not have to put in the second pump. Your batteries will remain on the ground and the pumps will remain up on top of the uh, tables. 
You can, in the beginning, prime the pump by adding water into the line, but once it's primed, you have to fill from the five gallon bucket. And then the first to fill that up, you move to the second station. Second stage will be just as before, one level harder. We have taken, of course, a little tape off the cables. Okay, but you still have your guides. The only thing that may be confusing is the length. All right, so you'll move those around. We've already dry fit it, everything works. I will come over, turn it on, and if it goes to invert, you move on to the next station, nothing to turn on. If I say go, go. And this is where we'll end up. Everything you need to start the fire is in the pit. Now, the only thing that's not in the pit, of course, is the striker. I did hide the strikers. So you will have to find the striker. The only kindling that you will use besides the sticks, each of you have a bag of wool. First to hit here will be champion. Give you a couple minutes to think. Do you think the water challenge is gonna be the hardest for us? Yeah, because I wasn't watching any of it. None of it? I was carrying water the whole time. Oof. The only thing that I cannot really clearly remember is actually how to connect all the water fittings. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, does anybody remember specifically anything about the water fittings? I think we'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, the solar will will be able to rock through. I feel like you're going to be carrying us on these first two channels. No, you're going to be you're going to be helping. I'm going to um, move those cables kind of where they need to be. Piece first. Just all those piping pieces fit together like like a, like a cylinder on the top of the black. Where did where did the black piece? The elbow is in the middle. Goes into yeah. the so was that like because um, there's a part that twists right onto the bag. Right above it was that the yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. right there. And you have and another piece on top. Mm -hmm. Remember, full tightening as you install it, not hand tight. But You're like talking about on that one. Not yeah. Bolts, yeah. yeah. Yep, okay. 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 Was, that, was that the little clamp or the? Little clamp. Little, little clamp. clamp. Okay, little so there are two large clamps. What were the two large clamps for? One was for the gray and the big Connection. Two. Yeah, yeah. connection. Yeah. Okay. The clear, the clear. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Go! First station is the water station. They have to actually build everything up. So we see Team Red is splitting up. Team Blue is working together. They have to put the pallets up before they can put the bladder on. Yep. Bladder is up. Good. Okay, thank you, Mama. Yep. Team Red went with the snorkel first. Team Blue is actually putting together the pump first. Water's coming in for both teams. Aaron, do you need help with them? How are you doing, babe? Good. Different approaches, but I think an even race. It feels loose. What do you want me to do? You're doing great. Keep going, keep going. Do you think they're Good sticking? Power. Do you think they're sticking with their strategy so far? Oh yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Good. Yes. Looking over his parts to see if he is ready to start pumping. This is pretty darn close. Okay, he is priming before he hooks up his pump. Caitlin. Yep. Okay. Yep, I got it. Yep. All right, let me get here. You got this? Do you want this filled with all five gallons? Uh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah. He was pumping. Okay, babe. Okay, priming it? Yep. Okay. Let me, hang on, let me get. The pump going. Okay. We got to start pouring it in, and then we got to put our thumb up as soon as it starts sucking and get it in the bucket. Okay, tell me when to go. Now? Pour it in. Keep pouring. Go ahead. Go back. To, uh, go oh, back. They're empty. I just, I know. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, now start we go. need to cinch it. Okay, go. Start I going. got this. Hang on, babe. Hang on the hose, please. Hose, hose, hose. You're down here. Okay. Yeah. 
this hose like, still going? looks like yep. it's catching air. All good. Good job, guys. Good job. How you doing, Caitlin? Good. How are you? Good. Good. I think the nerves. That was that was nervous. I had no idea how to set that up. Uh, that was the one I was like, I'm the least confident about this one. Yeah. So we see that Team Red's getting a little bit more air in the lines. I've got a slow pour versus a fast pour. Let's abandon this and both. Let's both go over there. Keep on the. Keep on it. I got it. Oh, we have a leak. Howard! How's your heart rate, Howard? That's why we just traded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Breathe. Breathing. Slow. Yep. Had to pick the hottest day for this, didn't we? <laughs> Heart is coming out down here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me come over. Team Blue is now holding up the snorkel. Oh. And they're doing really well with keeping their water levels up. Watch that top, babe. That's got to okay. stay vertical, okay? Okay. So if they're to hold the snorkel up on their bladder, there's no resistance for that water to get into the bladder. If we watch the two different styles, we'll see one should actually fill up faster than the other if they hold that snorkel up. Yeah. It is too close to see right now who's ahead. Both are just running smooth. Team Blue does have more water in the pail, but it doesn't matter because they're keeping up at this point. This is a gauntlet. Team Blue consistently keeping that pail 30% fuller than Team Red. I can't believe you lost me. What's that? I can't believe you lost me. It's water out of the It's okay. No, it's fine. Okay. I promise. It wasn't that much water. Okay. And then I'll, go, I'll start okay. running next. Okay. So we see gameplay here. Neither team is actually filling up their, their pails, which means they're having to do double, maybe even triple, the amount of times okay, they're go going back to fill up because they're filling at less than 50%. It's okay. It, I, I think ours is off the shelf on the side. It's okay, go ahead. Go. Whenever you're ready, don't, don't run. Blue team in and out, red team's on a slow pour. Can I take a swig out of it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys can take a drink from the water if you're thirsty. Take a drink. Oh, I have Howard, to. take a drink. Yeah, good call. I think it's going to come down to Howard got his water flow started 30 Just seconds sooner. Yes, before. And that could make a difference. It's, it's, it's going to be neck and neck, I think. This challenge is going to be neck and neck. Here, take a drink out. Some hot quality H2O. Okay. Okay. Take a drink, Chris. I does. Take a drink. Seems to be no slowing down right now. We'll see as we get deeper into this challenge whether the physical will kick in. Okay, walk us two over. Because as we go on, on, it's gonna be more mental. We're so close, baby, we're so close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. You're almost there. Both of you, keep it up. We're leaking again at the top. Check that. Okay.
Oh. I heard it get a... Keep up. Water comes, the water comes up here. Okay. Now we got the weight of the bladder up top. It's gonna slowly expand just a little bit more. We have these creases here, so we'll see as the water comes up and goes back down, it's gonna actually pull all of the creases out of here before it comes out of the top. Is that what you Yeah. I think it's different. And then I'll stay over there and hold that up. Tell me how I have goosebumps right now. It's in the heat. God, it's gotta be close. Yeah, any second that's gonna geyser, I think, for both of us. I need you to check this, baby. Let's okay. Push. Okay. Too much water's coming out. Okay. Ready? Yep. See a little bit of air. Yeah. Red team is done. Yeah. Baby, come. Come on. We don't have to finish. Oh, we won. That All water together. challenge was like designed there to wipe everybody out right at the beginning. Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that it started out with that because we we did actually train. Finally, our we, training we went to us. For this moment, we were yes. doing farmers carries and sprints and burpees, and, and we were doing it in the 95 degree sun. We were training in Texas heat. Okay, panels down. I got panels down. Okay, no. Uh, Get the, all of these out. Yeah. I'll get them out like this. No, leave the panels out. Pull them oh, out. okay. No. Yep. Pull them all out. Got them. Yeah. Okay. Just positive, positive and negative. Positive and negative. Keep yeah. them together. Okay. Negative. Positive. Blue team done. Good. Okay. Yep. We got a negative yeah. out. Okay. Yep. And a positive yep. out. Yeah. Let's go. Two, okay, babe. Uh, All right, you're, you have the end starts. with the wires like yep. that. Team Red had water come out of the top of the snorkel. Team Blue had water come out of the bottom of the snorkel. There was a little bit of a leak. So as soon as water came out of the bottom of the snorkel, they had finished, moved them on to their next site. If they pull away from us on the beginning, it's going to be over. And so we worked really hard to try and stay neck and neck in the first one. Yeah. Because I felt, I felt confident that like um, on the electric and even on the fire, um, we could hold our own. Right, but like it was the physicality of the first part of the challenge that mm -hmm. I was like, we have to stay with them. Are these okay, next one out, lay them like this. Okay? What am I getting out the nuts off? Unscrew it, mm -hmm. be careful. Good. The wash, wash okay. is third one. Hold on, flip, flip it, flip it, other way, other way, yeah. easier just to go like yeah. right Team Blue's getting their panels down first. You got the cord, Team yeah. Red started. Go ahead and hooking up their cables. Again, two different approaches. Listen, grab those cords right there. Okay. Make and bottom. Yep. So they go on. Make sure you double check everything, babe. I'm trying to get this thing off. What are you having trouble with? I got it. I got it. Yeah, just shout out if you need anything. Okay. Any help. All right. Are you tired of the same old camping experience? Are you ready for a change? Look no further. Grand Design offers the ultimate solution to your outdoor adventures. With top-of-the-line amenities and unparalleled comfort, your next camping trip will be unlike any other. With fully equipped kitchens, spacious living rooms, and luxurious bedrooms, you can enjoy all the comforts of home while enjoying nature. Experience the beauty of the great outdoors in a whole new way. Choose Grand Design RV for your next adventure. Grand Design RV. Adventure awaits. Are you searching for something different? Do you want the freedom of owning your own business and being able to work while you travel and explore our beautiful country? Then join us at the National RV Training Academy. Our hands-on training program equips you with the knowledge and skills to succeed in this largely underserved industry. You will learn from experienced instructors in our state-of-the-art facility, gaining real-life experience. The National RV Training Academy is more than simply a school. It's a family of people sharing the passion for adventure and a desire to succeed. With flexible course options and industry-recognized certifications, you'll be ready to hit the road and start your dream career. Don't wait any longer. Join the National RV Training Academy and start your journey to a better future today. Do you need a qualified professional RV technician or inspector? 
then the RVTAA and the NRVIA are two associations you need to know about. The RV Technician Association of America and the National RV Inspectors Association both provide training, certification, and continued education helping promote professionalism in the industry. You can search for a certified RV technician or a certified inspector in your area using their locator maps. Visit the RVTAA.org and the NRVIA.org to learn more. Upgrade your camping experience with Alliance RV. Spacious interiors, top-of-the-line technology, and luxurious amenities obsessed with providing the best RV ownership experience. Whether you're exploring the mountains or relaxing by the lake, Alliance RV has everything you need for the perfect getaway. So why settle? Choose Alliance RV where luxury meets adventure. Do you need me to do anything? No. Just, ah. Uh. You're good, baby. I'll get that in a second. All right, anything else over here, Aaron? Double check. Just keep double checking. Right now? Yep. Careful, they're all connected, babe. Oh, I was just, just waiting. Lay it down. You want down. this one? This way? Over here. Over here. It's really tight. Which way? Just straight oh. down on the ground. Oh. They just need to be down. Put it down, yep. And then help it with the second one. Yep. Can put it, can put can that one straight down in your left hand, down on the ground, all the way down, and then flip this one over. Okay. Okay. It's this one. It's this one, little one. Just make sure they're all connected. Here. Okay, ready? Who's one of these that was yeah. Blue team, go! Okay. I felt like this was a perfect final because um, the physical, you know, we kept we kept up with them. They beat us, you know, it was 30 seconds, a minute-ish, wasn't bad. Um, but then we came back on solar, we beat them on solar uh, to the fire. Blue team just finished the solar challenge. Red team, go. We gotta find it, babe. We gotta find the Flynn. So now they're, both teams are out looking um, for the fire starters. Um, it's gonna be, it's neck and neck. Keep looking, Caitlin, keep looking. You just tell me what you need when you need it. No, nope, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Two different strategies. You got the blue actually setting up ready as though he has the striker. Red team working together to try and find where the strikers are. This will not be a 45 second challenge. It's coming to the end here. This could not be any closer what it is. I mean, literally, they are finishing seconds apart from each other. So the race now comes down to who's going to find the last few elements first. It's a search and find, so it could be anybody who finds it. Yes, it would just feel great that if Team Blue could. This is a actually... neutral commentary right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but you know. You got this, baby. Okay, then where have you looked? Is there two of them or one of them? Got to be two. You'd be surprised at just looking for the striker, how much this is going to drain them, both mentally and physically. One was found. Is this it? Put one back. Aaron. Come on, baby. All right, both teams have found the fire starter. They're trying to get the fire started now. Blue team's got their fire lit. Oh, oh, they're both oh no. Lit. They're both oh no, lit they're both now. lit. They're all right, blue team's got a light, red team's got a light. We gotta get that wood burning. Where's our other? I've got flame, I've got flame. Baby. Come on, get some 
Is it flooding? Mm -hmm. Careful, Dark. Awesome. Yeah, you Blue does have sticks on yeah. fire. Let's yeah. see what happens. But if, the, if they get some drier stuff in that wood, it gets some flames, flames in there. Yeah, it gets some flames. They can't get the palm from like you had or whatever the palm leaf. Yeah, oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Like, with the timing right now. Then. Blow on it. Yeah, they're blowing on Chris and Aaron are blowing on it or Aaron. Is. I think it doesn't matter who wins this competition. Both of them deserve yeah. to win because yeah. they are so equally matched. This is so crazy. Yeah. I knew this was going to be tight, but I did not know it was literally going to be a this photo plus. finish. Yeah. Almost touching. Oh, we touch! Just do that, like that way. Touch right we got, we got red team! Did they say red team? Hold on, hold on. Guys. I know. Oh my god! Oh my god! Red team got it. Valiant effort, I swear. Even Aaron said blue touch first. Good job. Good job. Great job. Good job. Oh my god. Great job in there. Oh my god. So oh my god. So my god. I can't believe how hard you guys worked and how close it was. I mean, you fantastic. Great. Uh, so so hard. Girl, oh, such a close so proud of you. Uh, Good job. So uh, absolutely. Uh, we are sweaty AF. Yes, Good yes. job. Oh, wow. You got it. They're, they're watching it. They're watching it. Yeah. Like, literally, we're doing an instant replay. I think we got it. I think we actually got it. They actually hit it way before hit it again. Yeah. And then there's hit. And then there's hit. Yeah. Okay. It does appear the call is right. We we had the, we did do a review. The red did hit on left side first. And then just a second later, blue. Blue hit twice after that before red hit it again. It is the right call. Red did win, but it was close as can be. Good job, guys. Wow. Oh, my God. You guys got it. You guys you got, got it. it. You got it. Good job. Y'all did such a great job, girl. Good job, guys. <laughs> I see some fitness stuff. Good job. It's been fun uh, spending the last. <laughs> Wait, what? She's happy. These are happy tears. Oh, you're oh. happy tears? Yeah, she's this not. I'm so proud of all of us. Like, and to be honest, six months ago, I couldn't. I was so sick, I couldn't get off a couch. That's true. And the fact. I'm just really proud of everybody. I can't believe we did this. You guys did great. You guys did great. <laughs> I have one thing to say. We won! We won! As I knew we would. We hang our hat to the red team. So that being said, I cannot wait till next season because this really set a precedence. I, they have to top it next season because the competition was fierce, the players were amazing, yeah. and oh man, I can't wait. I know they're already planning, getting ready for the, for the next set of uh, challenges. And let me tell you, we're gonna take Phil down that season too. So let me ask you, who do you think will win next year? That's right. And do you want to be a part of it? Oh, and you can be a part of it. Mm -hmm. We're talking rallies. We are talking all kind of things. So make sure you stay tuned here on RV Unplugged. Join us. Join the cast. Join the crew. It's going to be an amazing ride. Well, it's official. Red Team wins season one, RV Unplugged. So much more to come. Let's see what happens next time.
You did. Good job. Good job. Not in Tatum, but in Tatum. Tatum wins.